Uh, the walking bus, um, we, we set it up a, about five years ago and the aim was to reduce congestion around school but also to give the children a little bit of exercise in the morning so they're not just being dropped off at school in cars, that they're actually being dropped off a little way off from school and they're, they're walking to school um, in a controlled and safe environment. <laughs> Over the course of the week, we have around about 50 students signed up for the walking bus. Uh, on a busy day, we have probably around about 25. There are certain rules that the children have to adhere to on the walking bus to make sure that they're safe. Um, when they start the walking bus, we explain the rules and we keep reiterating them over the time that they walk as far away from the, um, from the road as they can, that they stay over on the pavement, that they walk in single file because a lot of the footpaths aren't wide enough for them to walk in twos. Um, obviously we have parents, they're always walking on the outside. We have a couple of roads that we need to cross. Um, they're only small roads but they still count as, as roads and we have a parent that st will stand uh, and make sure that nothing can turn into the road and nothing's coming out of the road so the children can cross safely. Um, but it teaches the children about being safety aware, about being road aware, about um, being a pedestrian. I would, I would definitely encourage other schools to do the walking bus. Uh, it, the children, we're, we're like a little family on the walking bus. The, with the parents dropping them, they're able to drop from 8.30 in the morning. Um, I'm always there at 8.30 in the morning. Uh, come rain or shine, <laughs> it doesn't matter what the weather is, we're always there. Um, and then it, it gives those children, um, especially the older children, it gives them a, a, a good bit of independence.